this down. Mm -hmm. and we just gotta try to get that snow thing out of there. Yeah. So now we're gonna open the clutch assembly. So I already had the clutch assembly. Um, they took off the snap rings for it. And this is what the schematic should look like on the inside. So I'm gonna leave this here. So this is how the clutch assembly goes. So on each end, on this side has a snap ring and so it does one inside here too. Um, to be on, on this side. So now we're gonna open it up. that one and on top of this one or, now on top of this one goes this piece right here but this what the one that you're gonna be unthreading this is a snap ring from the bottom side right here but on this side there's also a snap ring right in here so I had them take that out and now we're gonna open it up see uh, if there's any wear any burnt parts okay so it looks like so no burning Might still be in good shape too. You can see right there. And these are just one direction they go. So it's like, yeah. Still pretty good. Oh, there's a little bit burning right there, you see it? Yeah, there's no burning on here, it's weird. Okay, so now we're gonna open the next set. No burning on there. A little bit of wear right here. And a good thing that all these are going to be replaced. Mm. 
Mm -mm. No burn marks there. No particles there. It's just where it gets seated on. Okay. And I'll be replacing um, this one with the new one that I have that I've ordered from uh, Cosmet Motorsports, I believe. And that's what I'm going to start. I'm going to replace this whole um, unit, all the clutch, the steel plates and the clutches with an OEM one. And that's the teardown of the clutches and the steel plates on this Mitsubishi Evo. So I put it back all together and there is a PDF file of this and I'll see if I can get it on a link below. Um, but there is like a schematic like I showed you before. Now this one has a more in-depth uh, view of that schematic of how this all goes together right here. And this works for, uh, this will be almost both, same for both the DCT 450 and also for DCT 470 as well. So you see, um, you have the snapping that goes in here, which holds everything um, from here to here and here to here all together on that ring, which is holding this part right here. And as well, you have your O-rings there and all these here and there is a special uh, certain direction where all these um, especially the clutches like how they go and you'll see like there's a uh, um, direction um, how they're going so you when you open yours up if you ever get the chance um, you'll see the the way it is and we want to put it in that specific order as well and if you don't know what order it is um, this schematic will show you how how to do it And that's right there that note says frictions are direction sensitive. So yeah. And here's got the list also for the parts that you'll uh, need also. Made myself a binder <laughs> to make it easier for me. But yeah. So I will try to put this on, uh, on the description below as a reference for you guys. Alright. And that's it. Alright. Thanks.